Welcome friends, Petrina here with Homegrown Florida. Today I'm going to show you how I grow my sweet potatoes each and every year. It has worked like a charm and it's super, super easy and it all starts with slips. The first step to growing sweet potatoes are growing the slips. You may think you can grow sweet potatoes like regular potatoes by burying the whole potato or a part of the potato, but they are actually two different kinds of plants. So while they may have similar names and looks, they are actually quite different. White potatoes are grown as clones, so you can bury a piece or the whole potato to produce more, but sweet potatoes don't really work that way. It is actually possible to bury a sweet potato and grow more, but you're going to run into several problems that lead to a very small potato harvest. This is because you should actually be growing the slips from a sweet potato, not growing potatoes from the actual potato. <laughs> the slips are the small vining plants that grow from a sweet potato. They start as sprouts on the potato and then they form a small vine with green heart-shaped leaves. From my experience, the easiest way to start slips is to head to the grocery store and find an organic sweet potato. You want to purchase organic sweet potatoes because they have not been sprayed with sprout inhibitors, so the slips will produce more quickly. If all you have in your store is regular sweet potatoes, those will work, but they do take a bit longer to grow the slips since the sprout inhibitor is designed to keep your potato in storage for a long time. like over a year. <laughs> Once you have your organic sweet potato, you will want to bury it on its side in the dirt, but only halfway up. You want some of the potato to be seen above the soil. Water it about once a week and very soon you're going to start to see the sprouts from the potato and those sprouts will turn into slips. Last summer I was able to grow 30 pounds of sweet potatoes from just one grocery store potato. I grew a year's supply of my sweet potato in just one of these raised beds, which are eight by four feet. This is enough sweet potatoes to feed my husband and I for a full year, including we gave some away to our friends and our family. Believe it or not, we are getting close to running out of last year's harvest, which I thought that wouldn't happen this soon, but I had a very, very tough white potato season. <laughs> so we've been eating the sweet potato in the white potatoes place, which means we have eaten a lot more than we normally do in a year. And I suspect we will have to do that again this year because my spring potatoes have had some trouble uh, too. <laughs> it just hasn't been my year for white potatoes. Sometimes that's just the way gardening is. <laughs> so I'm planning on growing even more sweet potatoes than I da did last year. My plan is to plant two beds full of sweet potatoes, the traditional orange potato. And I'm actually trying a new variety that is a white sweet potato that's very similar to white potatoes. So I'm hoping that it might take the place of some of the white potatoes in that second bed. Once the slips are about six inches long, you're going to break them off the sweet potato as close to the potato as possible. A typical organic sweet potato should be able to give you around 10 to 25 slips before the potato eventually rots away. Sometimes when you break the slip off the potato, they will come with roots already created. And sometimes they will break clean off the potato with no roots. If they come away with roots, you can bury them immediately into the bed. Super easy. But if they don't, that's okay. Take those slips and place them in a cup of water in indirect sunlight for just a few days. I like to leave them in my covered patio for a few days. In that time, you will start to see them growing white roots. Once they have a few roots, it's time to plant them. Be careful not to leave them in the water cup too long because they can cause them to rot. Usually three to seven days does the trick. Now is where the real fun starts. 
when those little white roots have formed, it's time to plant the slips. This is usually the part of the video where I tell you to fertilize the beds, loosen the soil, lay down some good combo compost. Well, forget about all that. I have learned that sweet potatoes kind of like crappy soil. I've been working on my soil and I've started to notice that when I grow them in a bed where I have really dark, rich soil, they don't do as well. <laughs> so strange. So this year I'll be putting them in the beds that either have had some super heavy feeding plants um, before this round or just ones like this one that I haven't been really focused on the soil as much as some of the other beds. Once you've picked the bed or the in-ground area you want to grow in, planting slips is very simple. You can poke a hole down three inches and slide the slip down into the hole. Now the way that I'm going to do it this time because my slips are quite long is I'm actually going to lay the slip kind of down on its side. And I'm just doing that because these slips are quite long. And I'm gonna water it before I cover it. And then I'm gonna cover it with that dirt. And all you see is the top of the slip hanging out right here. I'm gonna press that down and we're gonna water once more. It's, it's very hot and we haven't had a lot of rain lately. So I wanna make sure these take well. You want it deep enough that the roots are protected from like the hot surface, but not so deep that it's going to be really hard to harvest them because the way sweet potatoes grow is they grow downward. <laughs> so you really would have to be digging when it's time to harvest. I like to start making my slips as soon as I can see the threat of frost has passed. This year, my expected last frost date was March 12th, but I checked the 10 day forecast leading up to that date and I saw that the worst we were going to get was in the 50s at night. So I went ahead and laid them right in my bed to start the slips. It takes about four to six weeks for the slips to form. You don't have to do this as early as me. You could do this much later in the season if you live in a warm place like me, since we have such a long growing season. If you do decide to wait a little bit longer, make sure you give yourself at least four months for the slips to grow tubers. You want to make sure that you harvest them before a frost ha happens. So let me give you an example. My first predicted frost date this year is December 12th. So if I back that date up by four months for the slips to grow tubers, that would put us at around August 12th. If the slips take six months to be produced by the potato, then that would back us up even further to July 1st. So if you live near me or somewhere close, the latest you want to start creating your slips is July 1st. Once you have your slips planted, the best way to make sure they are adjusting to their new home is to water them every day or two until we start to get regular rains. After that point, you no longer need to water them. They're pretty much take care of themselves at that point. In about a week or two, you're going to start to see these slips putting on new leaves. What's cool about sweet potatoes is you never have to fertilize them or treat them for pests. Talk about your low maintenance plant, right? I basically ignore them for the entire summer. The most I do for them is I dump my grass clippings from our weekly lawn maintenance on top of the plant every week. I like to do this because when harvest time comes, your beds will have sunk down. So heaping a bunch of grass or leaf litter or even wood chips will help add some more mass back to the beds. Let me prepare you that the bugs will absolutely love the leaves of the sweet potato, but don't worry about them. They can't do enough damage to slow these plants down. It may look like they are, but trust me, they will be absolutely fine. Before you know it, you're going to have a nice big harvest of very sweet and yummy sweet potatoes for very little effort. Just for fun, let's do a little guessing contest. Head down in the comments and let me know how many pounds of sweet potatoes you think we're gonna be able to grow in my garden this summer with these two raised beds. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the video where we're gonna be harvesting these guys come fall. If you wanna watch a couple more of my videos, I'll pop them up right here. You can check them out between now and my next upload. Happy gardening, guys.